Hey, just a quick reminder to go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And without further ado, let's get into it. Hello everyone, it's Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Discovered Sword HD. In the last episode we made our way to Lanayra's Desert and I'm not gonna lie guys, this place is a little dry. No pun intended. So, I spent the last uh, few days of this week um, playing over this particular area and I have uh, played through it about four or five times now and um, out of my own desire to spend uh, less time learning and relearning I sort of uh, kind of got it down to a like linear route that you can follow to get most things because I don't want to go back here for stuff that I missed. Uh, so if you're like me, if you find this place confusing, if you don't want to come back, then uh, follow along with me. Um, I'm going to take you through the most direct route that I have found uh, personally. to the controls being a little bit different because when I was playing through it I uh, played on handheld mode which by the way if if you're um, struggling with a particular section uh, and you know that if you were playing with a regular controller it wouldn't be nearly as hard try switching to handheld mode I mean it's still a little bit different because you have to uh, you basically control the camera like it's Ocarina of Time, where you use the target to center the camera behind you. Uh, but you control the sword with the right thumbstick. And even though, like I said, even though it's still a little bit awkward, it's better and more accurate than trying to use the motion controls. I'm gonna have to go way out just to hit this guy. Hey, come here. And also, if you are one of those people that uh, feel that the Joy-Cons are difficult, or the motion controls are difficult, trust me when I say that it's probably the best that I've seen. I Granted, I haven't played uh, the VR what is it, meta or whatever the face of the guns. Um, but I know that PlayStation had like, I don't even remember what it was called. It was like a wand, it had a, like a white ping pong ball on the end. Xbox had the Kinect, but Nintendo did it first. And it was a fun gimmick, don't get me wrong. But that's kind of all it was. Uh, and once the gimmick wore off, it was just—it it was just really annoying to have to 
play like that. I mean, when, when you... Oh, I ran out of stamina. You don't want to do that. You, you want to try and get, like, as low as you can and then let off. Because even Link's jogging speed is faster than his puffing and puffing. But you want to make sure you push this down, that way you don't have to go through all that sand again. You can just jump right up here. But, uh, as I was saying, you know, it's not like the Wii was that bad. Um, I did it again. It's not like the Wii remotes were that bad, or the motion controls were that bad. It was just the first of its kind, you know, like, it was a new concept, and there's still a lot that need to be okay. I thought I heard like a, a bee or a fly or I don't even know. Yeah, like for what it was, it was still really fun. So it wasn't there's not really much to complain about considering it was like a flagship. Console, but I digress. Um, is that? I'm gonna check. Sorry about that. Did have a, a little fly, a little fly on the wall. Anyway, now we just have to. This guy. And run over him real quick. Oh, okay. yeah. Could go over there. Not a whole lot to do. There's a chest up there, but we can't get it because it is uh, locked behind an item. But we don't have. So anyway, first area in here. You notice I'm going to the statues and interacting with them, but. Uh, that's, that's all you have to do, is interact with them. So we're gonna go over here. It could be faster to do this. So we're gonna have a moblin to fight. We are going to We are going to send our beetle up to the very top. We're gonna look down with that. Toss it in with R. Okay. Oh, we can also hit that uh, that switch up there if we wanted to get back. Uh, mainly because when you go through this entrance here, uh, you go to right here and there is virtually no way to this other area or the side of the um, the map without going all the way around but rather than going all the way around you can cut across here it's basically why they do that 
Um, it's not necessary, so we're not going to be doing it. It's going to be a Deku Bob in here. Now, if you're really good, you can get it in the first try. I'm not really good. So, um, I'm gonna get it on the second try. I'm gonna grab this, um, Flower of Life or whatever it's called. There's going to be some Deku Scrubs. You can. Again, I hit the button instead of the motion controls because I'm used to the handheld. But you have to reflect it back like as soon as they... As soon as the rock gets close to you. Alright. This is a Goron. He's going to talk to you. And not say much, um... This is gonna be worth anything in regards to helping you. So, uh, just ignore him. Go ahead and hit, uh, this pile of rocks up here. Uh, wrong one. I need to like recenter. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. We're okay. Still getting used to the motion controls again. I wish I could like record this in handheld mode. I definitely would. Um, but you gotta get the full experience. Okay. You also, you want to make sure that you you miss every one of those shots. You want to get your seed satchel completely empty. Trust me. We're going to be filling up at this next, this next point. Anyway. Try and attack these guys like as soon as you can because uh, it's a lot easier than trying to discern their movements with their little electric well, fly spotter <laughs> you can just like get the first little oh man i forgot something important um that thing also you'll notice there is a goddess key we're gonna have to hit that on our way through unless we uh be forced to hit it on our second way through and you guys know that is my style <laughs> well okay i was gonna say i thought why is this these motion controls i'm starting to see what you guys are talking about <laughs> no but i i thought that uh it was weird whenever I got in this and it didn't move at all. Oh, it's because I didn't talk to the dude. I forgot. Okay. Yeah, you gotta talk to this idiot. That was scary. Mm, thanks for helping me. This is this is the temple of time. Then I was segregated. Look at that. I was sure that I was going to be getting down. You know, I am. I can't even. I can't even. I can't even. He's gonna tell you that your map is inaccurate. Um, really, he's inaccurate. He's actually unaware of the fact that he is, um, quite literally thousands of years, uh, deceased. So he's gonna give you an old map, outdated map. And then finally move his ass. Poor Master James, yeah, it's only 35% correct, like she said. I was, I was just telling... I was just telling him. So you're gonna move like the tiniest bit forward. And then you're gonna take this. Man, it's freaking 
I'm tired of looking at the ground. <laughs> okay, so you want to ready your sword like immediately. All right, first try, idiot. to do that numero dose 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 oh you thought you could get me a third time but yeah you can take this to go back um you don't need to In fact, when you're finished with this area, you'll be going directly to the sky, and you can do that from any bird statue, so... Maybe that's just for the people that they hope get lost. So, the good thing about uh, this outdated map is that you'll notice that everything is covered in sand, and our, uh, our previous map uh, depicted that. It was all yellow, brown... Well, now you see green, because it did used to be grass. Uh, and you'll also see the former structure of the land. And so we're going to have to walk on that. There is actually, there's like a, uh, a platform over here that just has like dragonflies so you don't need to waste your time going to that over here though there is a uh, a cracked wall that we want to get but our first destination is going to be right here so we can walk across here Should be able to. Why it's supposed to tell you that you can? Let's see. Go to this one. There you go. Yeah. You have to walk between these and trigger this cutscene. Yeah, information report. Um basically what I said is that you know there is still a partial structure underneath there. Um Okay, so now that we're here, we can run here. Uh, a seat. Refill our hearts. Our first um, destination is going to be right there. So we are going to go ahead. And we're actually going to bomb this. Because we're going to need to bomb it later. Um, and I'll just let the cutscene play as I run away. Alright, so we're gonna interact with this. Tumbleweeds are one of the more frustrating th materials to collect. Once again, not gonna do any of that on uh, on camera. But honestly, you're, I'm not gonna do any grinding off stream. So if you see me, you know, get past an area and I don't have the upgrade either, then you don't need it. Might wonder what that was. There's a... Yeah. Avoid workplace accident. Oh, safety first. Okay, a bulletin board. actually want to try and get this guy. Oh man, I'm 
Too good. Too good. Okay, so now that we have him, we're gonna rest and then run over here. There is a chest in here, I believe it is... It's not, uh, this one. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. Not this one. Where is that little guy? Alright. So, you can save yourself the headache of jumping down there. Um, come on. Lie down. Ooh. Let's try that again. You aim where I want you to. Fly down. Pick him up. Hitting all the wrong buttons the entire time uh, that those guys were fighting me off because once again all my practice attempts were in handheld them. Go ahead and grab these hearts. Why not? Why not? Where are you? I apologize for that. I just realized that I had um, my microphone, uh, or sorry, my camcorder microphone on, as well as my uh, recording mic, and uh, was getting a little bit of double audio. I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway, so our next uh, point is going to be uh, I said we would hit this. So we might as well go ahead and hit it. Uh, so we're gonna run here, up here, and over here. So we need to run here. Up here. And we wanna run all the way across. And use those, uh, those bushes or whatever to kind of help guide you. We're going to want to go around here because this is blocked off. Look like there's a big scary monster coming up behind me. Yeah, blow it up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ooh, another rare material. Worth getting stocked for. Holy... Stock up on some bombs. The rest of here you can't get through because once again locked behind an item. So we go back. Luckily, I have the Skyward Sword Amiibo. But we don't have to go back. We go to the sky. Turn right back around. Okay, so we want to, wait, that's the entry, we don't want to do that, we want to go way over here, Gorge. or do we, no, we want, we want here, So, we can remove that. Our next two destinations is there and here. So, we're already right here. We may as well grab this one. Let's turn around. You gotta do this like three times, two times at least. So you have to open that, and then you open this one. Now you just have to put a point here. You know where to stand. And then you run directly for this. You're gonna need to activate this. So pretty. Actually, was well, like it—it's like high tech mixed with Native American style. I don't even know. Yeah. 
All right. Go ahead and take up that one. Take up this one. And now we just have to make our way over here. Uh, easiest way to do that would be to return to this area, which is kind of why I wanted to hit it while we were over here, but it's whatever. Um, actually, you know what? We should have went ahead and hit it because there's a bird statue right there. Um, but anyway, so let's go ahead all the way up. I'm gonna fast forward when I get there. Alright, welcome back. <laughs> Just over here getting bold. Bold like a pin. First thing you're gonna wanna do is just like uh, pushing down those mine carts to create a shortcut is you wanna run up this wall. Grab this, that way you can go right back to uh, the beginning of the desert. So here is the bird statue I mentioned. Just wanna interact with it and then head inside. All right, so this is the last area. This is the place uh, where I was saying that there's supposed to be a switch. This is where I was thinking. Sweet, we got another um, jelly blob or whatever those things are called. We can run over here, that's awesome. Right here. Okay, he's gonna run into us there. We're gonna run over to this side. Actually, I think that was right, but we can hit it from here. We just gotta get our bombs out. See if we can roll it. Okay, not what I meant to do. Give it and take it away. Alright, roll that up there. Gosh, man, that got some distance. Alright, maybe I can lob it. There we go. Well, it's gonna slowly. Still hit it, cool. So now that that's hit, go ahead and take our. Slingshot and activate that. Turn those guys into little power cells. And we're gonna take it all the way over there. So, one right there. Oh. Well, a little bit of an awkward place, but I think I can still do it. Right there in front. Now, with all the sand gone, we can get up here. Let's see. I 
think. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to hit this again. Okay. I like to use the slingshot. Trust the old slingshot. Now oh, that's filled with sand, we actually can travel over there. So we just need to, yeah, you. You'll do nicely. Roll that over to him. Hopefully, close him up. Okay, so he's gonna be a pain. What you want to do... Okay. What's gonna be way faster? Do a scoured strike on him. I just hit my pop filter. You're gonna... I say way faster, but... I've done this before. It takes six hits. That one didn't even count. That one did. Two more. And hurry up and get on. La la. to go back and hit that. When you hit the time chip stone, um, it does reset the position of the um, the dudes. You're supposed to do it from up here, which I will now. I flew it over this platform so that uh, when the beetle finally did run out it wouldn't uh, drop it into the abyss and make me have to start over. Alright, this is right there primed. Alright guys, I'll see you back at the switch. 
All right, so we are back. Let me go ahead and sit down for a second. Relax the old legs. <sighs> and get rid of that annoying beeping sound. All right, let's see what we did. So, we got lightning at our 12 o'clock, we have water at our 9 o'clock, and we have fire at our 4 o'clock. So, we're going to turn, we have water, water was at 9, right? Okay. Fire was at the four. And lightning was at the twelve. the temple thank you guys so much for watching this episode if you enjoyed please leave a like I really do appreciate it and uh, if you watch to the end comment mine shaft because <laughs> it looks like we're going to a mine shaft I don't know if if you're not already subscribed, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe. Uh, I do appreciate everyone that does subscribe. I'm trying to get my count up. And uh, if you are also interested, I uh, make YouTube shorts of my dog, Pura. Uh, so if you want to see those, subscribe for those as well. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.